The nice features on this controller are it has separate buttons. You've got a separate button for the pause and for the home point. On most controllers, they're combined between the two. It's a short press and a long press. But here you've got separate buttons. So you've got the pause button and the home button. This is the on off button. And then you've got like a joystick here, which goes four different directions and also physical press down. So there's five different commands that you can reprogram on there. And then we've got the C button down there, which is the cine mode, slow speed mode, normal mode in the middle and sports mode to the right. And he's got a distinct. Then you've got the two buttons here, which we've talked about, the back button and another other programmable button. Here are all the shortcuts using the buttons and dials. Everything starts from the back button on the top left-hand corner. This button up here, top left. The first one, let's have a look at the back button. And if we use the hit this and then use the gimbal wheel, which is here, then you can change the brightness. So if I now click on this and take it darker or lighter, darker. It goes down in increments of 25. There you go. And then if I now press the back button and use this control, the camera control, I click on this now. And we use this to go back. It now changes the volume by increments of 20%. You can see it moving up and down by using the wheel. So that's the shortcut for changing the volume. If I click the back button down now and use the button here, which is the screen button there. So if I hold it down here and do it takes a screenshot of the actual screen. I'll do that again. Click. Taking the screenshot. If I click this back button and hit the record button, if I hold the back button down now and hit the record button, you can see that the actual controller is now screen recording video. You can see it ticking away now down here. It's just the, there we are down the bottom. And if I do this again, it'll stop. Those are the two shortcuts for the screenshot and also for the screen video. The next thing is this 5D button, which moves in five directions. You can see it here. It goes up and down, left and right, all points down. This can be used in conjunction with the back button. So if I now click on that and then pull it down, it comes up with the shortcut. And then here you can see here how I can actually change the volume and brightness moves up and down this is one of the areas where we can play you can connect you can also do a screenshot from here and this tells us what we've just done we are, oh, we've got a screen recording that has been saved there you can actually change the brightness and the volume in this menu here let's click on that and go away again and then if i do that and click on this and go up it comes back to the home screen where the DJI Fly app is, the gallery, the files. All of your files that you record are on are found here. If you want to look at what you've done, if you press gallery, it'll show me the screen recordings that I've done uh, that are there. Now, these are all at first stored in internal storage. They're not stored on an SD card, which I've actually got in here. You can see there's an SD card here. There's an SD card slot and I've got an SD card in, but they aren't stored on there on that gallery. If I now come back out of that and look at the files, click on files and then click on this top left here on these three lines, here, you see there's the internal storage and there's the actual SD card. If we stay on the internal storage and we look at movies, you can see that these screenshots are all on here. They're not on the journal disk. Now, I have got some. I've moved some over to the movies, but they're not all there. There's only a few on here. If I click on this now, there are only four on there. The latest ones I've done today are not on there. If we go back to internal storage, and we go and have a look at movies again, which is where they're stored. 
there's eight on there. So that's how you find the files. And that's how you look at the items on the SD card. And you can transfer stuff across from the internal storage, which we'll do now. So we'll go over to the movies and I'll hold on to just click on there these four that I know that aren't on there and then we click on the three buttons at the top there and then copy two so we've got we're now selected these we want to copy two we want to go over here to disk and two movies and then we say press copy and it's copying those files over now if we look at the internal storage there if we look at the disk and we go and have a look at the movies all eight screen videos are there and that's how you move the stuff across but unfortunately it goes to internal storage by default it doesn't go to the sd card and you have to transfer them manually if you record a screenshot or if you record a screen video if you want to look at settings they're in here Go back with that. And tips. What the dials do. Return to home brakes. You C1 and the C2 buttons. Customization buttons. And how to do all of these. It'll show you various different items with relation to the in the, under the tips. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.